Today, we're gonna take a look at the sweet new keyboard from Extra 5, the K5 Compact. And spoiler here, I truly believe I can say this is the best entry level custom keyboard I have tested to date. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why I can back up my words right there. So stay tuned. Let's check this bad boy out. But first, a word from our sponsor, Devoom, and the Pixel 64 Digital Pixel Art Frame. And taking a look at the Pixel 64, as you can see, it's a nice slim design, just like a little art frame right there. You have little slots down there if you want to put it on a stand. Also on the bottom, you can pop it out and stand it up with the arm right on the bottom. Charges right by USB-C. But other than that, just looking at the device itself, as you can see, all the little pixelated deal on it. And you can set the Pixel 64 to display all sorts of things, maybe tracking your YouTube numbers, your Twitter numbers, your Twitch numbers, your TikTok numbers, your holidays, your clocks, heck, your favorite sports teams. And you can also go into the Devoom app and adjust and tweak it to what you want. Go right in here, set a design, and bam, just start creating whatever you want. As you can see, I'm drawing on the screen right now. How absolutely cool is that? And you got all sorts of different things, scoreboard, stopwatch, planners, calendars, all sorts of stuff and you also have different stuff again that you can just pick right in there bam click it and it's going to go right to the Devoom Pixel 64. I mean how stinking absolutely cool is the Pixel 64 right here. To check it out even more make sure to check out the links right down in the description. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the keyboard put together we'll take it apart and then you can kind of look at it that way and we'll talk about different variations you can get as well. Now if any of you are curious about this mouse mat we're using behind it is the GP5 comes in multiple different colors. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous as far as feel. It feels just like the GP1, which y'all know has been one of my absolute favorite mouse pads for years now. Now, looking at this keyboard, as you can see, it is 65%. Also, looking at my variation, as you can see, it's a custom variation. You can get it in all black or all transparent. All black coming in at 129, transparent coming in at 139. The version we have right here, including our braided USB-C cable, it's not a coiled one, just a straight one. This whole combination here would come out to be roughly around $162. Now, looking at the keyboard itself, again, you can see it's 65%. You have that frame going up over the keycaps there. You got that stock ergonomic incline, really nice, but flipping over to the bottom, you do have rubber feet, and you have one level of pop-out feet, which they're in there very firm, so they're not going to pop out on you. Uh, talking about the USB-C port right there, if you can catch it in camera, it's not recessed in at all, so any cable is going to fit right there. Now, getting to the cool, juicy stuff about this keyboard, did I already mention this little magnet thing that you can pop off right there? You can take that off if you want, maybe get a custom one. Anyways, diving deeper, you can actually pop off the frame right here. Now, this is plastic. As you can see, it is quite flexible and it just clips on around the side of the frame. And then you have your keyboard here, which you can have that floating keycap design if that's what you're into, right? So if you just remember, let's go on, snap this back on again, that easy. And you can see you kind of have the keyboard with your keycaps that go down into it. Bam, we're going to get in here, snap it off. And you can see now you have that floating keycap design. Now, the cool thing, you see this line going around the entire keyboard right there? That's where the case or the frame actually clips onto it. But it's not out of place. It doesn't look goofy like this. these little notches there. It actually looks like this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? So it's cool if you want that floating keycap design or you want that one where your keycaps are kind of into there, you can get both looks. Now, as you can see, I mean, this keyboard is already packing a punch, but we're just scratching the surface here because yes, this keyboard is also hot swap. But even looking deeper into the build, talking about that upper frame right there, it's actually metal right up top here. And then it goes into plastic underneath, which again is giving it that really solid build. And again, it has some nice weight to it as well. Now, getting to the keycaps here as we're taking it apart, this is probably the one thing I don't like is they are just sprayed ABS keycaps. Now, we all know that they get kind of shiny, they show the grease, and they fade over time. Why I honestly think they went with the ABS keycaps is so they can print all of these shortcuts across every single keycap. You all know I love shortcuts printed on my keycaps, so I know which keycaps to press to adjust them, whether I'm using arrows or my RGBs or anything like that. This one, 
every single keycap has something on it. And also looking at the keycaps here, you can tell the font is a very bold font. I honestly like it. I, I don't know. It just really fits well with the board right there. I really like it. So all in all, I can see again why they went with ABS, but I would prefer PBT. And you're also going to see that in the sound test once we get to it. But again, talking into the board here, we're going to pop off our switch. By the way, I have Cherry Speed Silvers over here. And looking into this PCB, you can see that it is five pin hot swap. So you can fit just about any switch on this keyboard here. Test out, dabble with whatever switches you want. Bam, they're going to flop right in there with that nice five pin PCB. Now taking an even closer look at the keyboard here. Well, the stabs, which you probably can't see, they are lubed and they actually state they are hand lubed. And I think they're lubed pretty nice, which again, you'll notice in the sound test here. Also, which I'm not sure if the camera can catch, if you can look underneath the frame, there's actually dampening foam there. And that's not the only layer. There's actually another layer underneath the PCB right there, which again, you're going to be able to hear within the sound test. So really nice touches here from the five pin hot swap PCP to the hand lubed PCB mounted stabilizers, by the way, not just plate mounted, uh, they're PCB mounted, so they're in there very firm. I really feel like they took every step right here to make it top notch. All right, so now let's go on and get this sound test. Now I'm gonna do two versions here. I'm gonna do it with the frame on and with the frame off. Again, I'm using Cherry Speed Silvers right here, and I have not done any mods to this board. This is right out of the box as is. Now we have to agree, the sound of this K5 keyboard sounds amazing for an out of the box keyboard. I really feel like they put the time and effort to get it to that sound right there. Now a personal opinion of mine is as far as the ABS keycaps again, you get that high pitched plasticky sound with thin painted ABS keycaps, not my favorite. Again, I wish they were PBT. Now, of course, as you can see, the K5 does have RGB and it's very bright and bold, kind of going right in line with those ABS keycaps. You know, it kind of lets the RGB shine through a little bit more. Same with your fonts. If you can see right on the side, it shines through the fonts on the side as well. Now, I do have one light on over there to kind of give you a real room, real life environment feel, and it's still very bright and bold. But take a look at this paper right here, tip boost your RGB lighting. What it says is hold down function and then your control button, which goes from USB 2 to USB 3. Bam, we're gonna set it right now and the RGB is gonna get brighter. You'll see this flash over there and the RGB just got brighter. It's just giving it, I guess, more juice or something because you can still go in here, function, and then your F and G and actually control the brightness. Bam, it's all the way down and come up here and then plus it up with the F and it comes brighter. That's just as far as, again, I guess, just giving it more juice because we'll go back to USB 2 and it's back down to dim. It gets a little bit confusing because again, on your settings, you got background color, K color, K mask, and this manual right here showing you all your controls is again, also a little confusing. I recommend you get on Extra 5's website and take a look at the manual they actually have on their site right there. You can either download it or just pull it up. And it's again, it's a lot easier to understand through that one. Now, one of the coolest things about the K5 keyboard is being able to make it yours. Again, getting on their website, like I stated, you can get it in black or transparent. You can get it in bare bones, black or transparent as well. Or you can just get in there and customize your own. So you have so many different things to choose from. Again, starting down at 89 bucks for like, of bare bones going up to what we have right here about 162 or get one that's pre-built for you kind of a solid color out there for 130 and one other thing i really love that extra five is doing right here is giving you the opportunity to really build onto it and customize it as you go because like i stated yeah you can get in there and buy your bare bones or your stock one right there but you can also buy every single piece separately on their website as far as a frame as far as switches as far as keycaps cables whatever 
you want, you can go in there and really kind of dabble with it and build it as you go, or just switch it up if you want. And that's truly what makes the K5, like I stated in the beginning, the best entry level custom keyboard I have seen. Number one, they're doing the hardest stuff for us. The sound dampening, the lubing and all that stuff. Number two, it's the price point. Like I've been stating through this whole video, the options you get to pick. They're not shoving down this $200 keyboard that, hey, you gotta buy this right here. No, they're giving you multiple variations and options that you get to decide what you wanna do. How much do you really wanna dabble with it? Well, you can pick. How much do you wanna customize it? Well, you can pick. And again, the price adjusts for you. So you can get it underneath 100 bucks, you can get mid hundreds right there. That I absolutely love, and I think it is driven through the consumer. And you all know, I love consumer driven products, and I feel like that's exactly what we have right here. All I can do is high five extra five. Good job, I love it.